हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइसल पराग दाबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन पैरामीटर्स एनोटेशन पैरामीटर्स एनोटेशन इज यूज टू ट्रांसफर डेटा और टू सेंड डेटा फ्रॉम एक्सएमएल फाइल टू द टेस्ट केसेस राइट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वन मोर एनोटेशन एंड इट्स नेम इज डेटा प्रोवाइडर डेटा प्रोवाइडर एनोटेशन and it is used to send data from the java file to the test case now see anyhow we are writing the test case in java file only right so from the same file we are sending data to the test case and for that purpose we will use data provider annotation when we are sending data from xml file to test cases at the time we have to use parameters annotation and when we are sending data from the same file a java file to the test cases then we have to use data provider annotation now see there is one more advantage of using this data provider annotation for example suppose uh, we have login test case login test case so see uh, for login test case uh, what we have to send username and password right user id and password right these things we have to send now see suppose we want to send three times user id password user id password user id password right so we want to send three instances right and how many how much data is there so there are two strings right two string so in that case what we can do we can create one object array and in that we can save the data like this now see by three because three times we want to pass user id password so we want to run that test case three times this is the meaning of this three first three So see, uh, our test case will run this three times, and three times we will send user ID password. Likewise, see user ID one, password one, user ID two, password two, user ID three, password three. And why this two? Because there are two values, right? That's why this two. So likewise, we can run same test case multiple times based on the data. So see, one test case can run three times based on the how much data is there. So if three times data is there, so it will be three. And how many strings are there? Or how many terms are there? Two. So that's right, two. So likewise, we can run our test case multiple times. So uh, better, we'll see one example. So from this, it will be clear. Now, function login test case. I want to provide some data. For that purpose, what we'll do? And see from the same file. See when we were using parameter annotations at that time, from this XML file, we have sent data to this Java file, right? Now, what we'll do? from this file only we will send data to this test case so see for this purpose we will add one more function so see public void and i am giving some name get data something like this so this is a function name right now see so here i am defining one array so something like this of type object object is one predefined class in java language Actually, it is a supermost class in Java language. Now see, so we'll create one array. We'll give some name, data is equal to new object. And see, suppose we want to pass three times. Ah, uh, three times we want to run the test case three times, and our data is two. Two terms are there. Suppose. Now see, we'll add some values to this data. So see, data. Zero, zero is equal to suppose uh, I am giving data user one. So likewise, we have written this data. Now see, so we have written one function, okay, and this function will provide the data. See, and what I want here, I am writing return data, okay, because I want to return it like this. Now see, uh, here we have written white, right? Our return type is white, but here we are returning this data, right? So see, it is showing red line. So I am taking cursor over here. So here it is uh, giving suggestion: change method return type to object object array. Okay, so I am clicking on that. So see, our return type has been changed. Now see, what we want, we want to use this function to provide data, right? So for that purpose, we have to use one annotation. So see, we have to use annotation data provider. Data provider. Now see, it is showing red line. So we'll take cursor over here. 
and we have to import package for this so see okay so see here we have written one function and we have used this annotation data provider what is the meaning of this this function is providing this data okay and what data we are providing user id and password okay likewise so the one example i have taken so likewise you can provide some data to the test cases okay this function will provide data to the test cases now see here now see to the test case we want to provide data from this function right so see what we have to do in this round bracket here we have to write data provider p capital provider data provider here see p is capital is equal to in double quote we have to mention name of this data provider function so see here data provider function is get data right so i am copying this so we have to mention here likewise now see so by this so get data is the name of the function right from this function we are getting data here now see we have to use we have to save this data we have to save this data so this data will get saved in this parameter so see so our data is string right so that should be string string user and string password string password so see here we are sending this user1 password these are the strings right so we are sending this data and see how we are sending the data so that first parameter means that many times the test case will get run and this is the number of data count of data okay so see first test case will get run so at that time this data will get used second time uh, test case is run so this data will get used third time when test case is run so at that time this data will get used so three times that this test case will get run this test case will get run three times and each time how much data we are sending two right two terms two strings two unit of data we are sending right so see so by mentioning this data provider is equal to get data we are getting data from the this get data function to this test case and somewhere we have to save it right so for that purpose we have to use this parameter now see so that user 1 password 1 user 2 password 2 user 3 password 3 so that data it will come here and after that we are using here so see in the in our example what we are doing we are just printing on the screen okay so that thing we are done now see we will run our code so see we will see the output so see admission login now see user 1 password 1 right now see again admission login user 2 password 2 again admission login user 3 password 3 so see this same test case has run three times right and it is taking data from this function that we have mentioned right from this data provider function from this data provider function here we are sending the data right user 1 password 1 user 2 password 2 user 3 password 3 so this data we are sending to the this test case right now see uh, suppose now see in our example in this example our data was string right but suppose uh, what we want our data should be integer so see that also we will check one more thing so see here uh, we have used this function right get data so see get data this function name we have used right suppose uh, we don't want to use this function name i want to give my own name something some other name i want to give okay so i can do like this name is equal to in double code suppose see, i am mentioning my data likewise i have mentioned okay so this data this name also i can mention so see my data name i have given so here instead of this data provider i can mention my data okay when we are not mentioning this name when we are not mentioning this name so at that time this function name we can use if we are mentioning this name so we can use this function name so see my data data provider is equal to my data we will run our code let us see now see same result we are getting the same result we got 
user 1 password 1 user 2 password 2 user 3 password 3 right so likewise also we can do now see so here we have passed string data right so what we'll do now we'll try to send integer data so see i'm copying this function and uh, here i'm pasting it so see uh, here i will make it get data 1 and also here i will make my data 1 okay and here uh, what we'll do here we'll mention some integer value suppose this 1 6 okay so see here i have mentioned this integer data right now see as we have mentioned here integer data so one small chain here we have to make so see now we are taking data from the my data one because separate function we have used now see it is not string it is integer right so that's why here we have to make int in data type we have to mention in now see we will run our code and we will check output so here you can see see admission login 1 2 next time admission login 3 4 next time admission login 5 6 right so in this way we can send integer data also right so small change i have done only where we are saving this data see we are sending data from this function right we are sending data from this function our data is integer right here name are this function name we have to mention here data provider is equal to this function name or whatever the name that we have given to the data provider function right and this data will get saved here right now what type of data we are getting string or integer so accordingly we have to use data type of this parameter right so likewise we can send integer data or any other data to the this test case now see one more thing so here we have uh, mentioned this data provider function in the same file right in the same program one dot java right now see suppose uh, this data provider function is present in program two dot java but we want to use it for test case in program one dot java see what i'm saying suppose if i cut this function and suppose i'm pasting here in program two dot java now see our data provider function is here and this data i want to use in program one dot java here I want to use here right in previous case everything data provider function and the test case was in the same file right now our data provider function is in this another file program 2.java and we want to use this data in our this program 1.java right so that thing also we can do one small thing that we have to add here data provider class is equal to and what is our class name program 2 dot class likewise we have to mention see data provider class is equal to program 2 dot class okay because this my data 1 is present in this file program 2 dot class okay so from this file we are sending we are getting this data right from this function my data 1 this data provider function my data 1 and then we are saving this data into this parameters now so we will run our code so see same output we are getting same output we are getting but in this case we are getting data from the program 2.java right we are getting data from the program 2.java just we have to add one more parameter here from where we are taking the data so in this way we can use this data provider annotation in our test in the framework so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you